Oh my god, it. What's up, people of the internet? My name is Hondro. Welcome to a new year and the same old podcast. <laughs> hashtag new year, hashtag new podcast. Hashtag same shit, different day. Same stuff. Uh, yeah, it's your boy, Loco, and his boy, Forrest, a.k.a. Funky Dude One. It's 2019. What are, you, what are you doing, man? How you doing? Working like crazy. I'm tired. The new year is flying by. Uh, I don't know how the last three months have been, like, ages, and now the month of January is, like, halfway over already. Yeah, we're done, though. It's a it's little, little <clears throat> disconcerting, but... As soon as I saw Valentine's Day things in the store, I was like, whoa, wait, no, not ready. Uh, gross. Yeah. Gross. But good. Anyway, so it's been a little while. It's been, uh, been like almost two weeks since we've done a podcast. So we've been demanded by our viewers. Where's the content? We want more. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> by our viewer. <clears throat> We've been demanded by one viewer. Yeah. Everybody else is like, yeah, it'd be cool to have another podcast right now. No, Robert demands it. He said, hey, sit down and record some stuff, or I'm going to come over there, and I'm going to whoop your ass. So here we are. This one's for you, buddy. Uh, we got a lot of stuff that's happened uh, since the start of the new year. First and foremost, first topic of discussion, as you guys can see on the screen, the Hatchathon is in full effect. I'm sure you guys all know what's going on. There's a lot more 5K and 10K eggs out there, and we've got the incubators in the stores still and all sorts of good stuff. Um, I don't know. Anything, anything specific you want to add, Forrest? Uh, no, no big change to the <clears throat> egg pool either. It was kind of disconcerting. Everybody was thinking that with the Hatchathon, they'd maybe shake up the eggs a little bit. Still the same old egg pool, so yeah, nothing too too crazy on there. Um, I'm still actually going for seven Ks right now, just because I'm. There's still reports of people getting Chingling, and and shiny babies and such, Realu and shiny babies and things. So those are kind of still the best bet, um, and I'm getting ready to run those in tandem with our uh, kind of next topic here. Yeah. So well, so we've got with the Hatchathon. If you guys didn't know, we are getting double hatch candy and double hatch stardust, which is always nice. But then going into community day, which is coming up this weekend on Saturday the 12th for uh, those of us in America and in Europe too. And then I think Asia Pacific is on the, is on the 13th. They're on, Uh, they're on Sunday. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. So we've got community coming up this weekend and, uh, the special bonus, um, let me pull it up here. Uh, we're actually getting four times uh, incubator effectiveness as part of that three-hour period. So that means you're going to be – with a super incubator, you're going to be walking less than a kilometer to hatch uh, both 10 and uh, no, 7K eggs. Or is it almost exactly one I think, kilometer? I think 5Ks and 2Ks are less than a kilometer. Well, yeah, 10, obviously. 10Ks and 7Ks are just about – I think 7Ks, it equaled out to be like 1.1 kilometer, and a 10K would be in a super incubator though? with a okay. super incubator, yeah. Yeah, I so mean, it's, 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 nec- it's next to nothing. You're going to be hatching eggs like crazy. It's a good way to get stardust during the event, um, so that's that's always good. Always see, uh, talking about Community Day, huh, I mean, come on, guys. I knew I wasn't going to have to delete my account. Everybody knew it was going to be Hydro Cannon, including me, who called it. Guys, guys, it's like he has an inside <laughs> an inside look into Niantic. It's, it's, he it's knew. like it's totally predictable what a water starter Pokemon is going to get as their special move. Oh, my goodness. I still say there's no way you could have known. I, I, I think that you have some insider trade deal with Niantic, and yep. you're getting information <clears throat> leaked to you. I actually wish that was the case, but that's not yeah. the case. Um, but, yeah, so Totodile sh- with Shiny Totodile uh, to lead up to Shiny Viral- for Alligator with Hydro Cannon. Pretty cool. Uh, it's probably going to be uh, – I'd actually have to check. I don't know because I know Typhlosion and Charizard have the exact same stats. I don't know if Blastoise and Feraligator do. I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. I, I don't I don't either. I'd, I'd have to look it up. But either way, Feraligator with Hydro Cannon 
is going to be a new top tier water Pokemon. So it's that's shiny pretty, is pretty noticeable, which yeah. is good too. It's a little tealish color instead yeah. of blue. Um, so that'll be cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty excited. I actually have to work over the weekend, so I'm gonna just have to take like a extended lunch break to try to hopefully catch some shinies. But luckily, I work in a in a complex that is has a lot of spawns, so yeah, I should be able to find some shinies. Probably not, not obviously not as many as I would normally get to on a regular community day, but either way, I'll get some good stuff. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, next up, we actually, I mean, let's just turn right through this, man. We've got a surprise Phoebus event just announced today, actually, yeah. as of recording <clears throat> this podcast, which is the tenth. Um, we have. Feebas coming in special research or limited research. They're phrasing it a little weird. We were talking about this just before we recorded about the specifics of this. Yeah. It sounds like it would be just spinning Pokestops and having research tasks that give you Feebas. But then later on in the announcement here, which we can read off. Well, I mean, it even says it up here at the very top. It says, uh, let's do some limited research. And then down here it says, uh, you know, spinning spinning the photo disc at nearby Pokestops to obtain field research tasks that lead to encounters with Phoebus. And if you're lucky, you might just find a shiny Phoebus. Uh, more details below. And then it tells you the times. So it's uh, in the on the 19th for both uh, Europe, Middle East, Africa, and the Americas, and then Asia Pacific region. You guys get it on the, the day after on the 20th. So it's almost like an additional community day, but it's just for Phoebus. And they're not going to be necessarily spawning in the wild. You're just going to be able to find them in special research. Um, but then it also says limited research tasks will be available when you spin photo discs at Pokestops. And then it says completing the limited research tasks will reward you with encounters. And then you may encounter shiny. Okay. And then it says Phoebus migrate quickly during limited research. So explore, exploring is key. As long as you've collected the limited research during the event window, you can complete it at any time. So what that means, it's not actually going to be any sort of special research. But what it means when it says you can collect the limited research, it means you can stack three Feebask tasks in your in your uh, you know in your research queue. So it won't be over here in special. It'll just be in the field research. You can stack the three and then complete them any time, and you will still get Feebas as your reward. That's all that's saying. Yeah, and it was a little confusing, too, because for me, when I initially read it, it led me to believe that there was a possibility of it being a longer kind of research task and that the more tasks that you completed, you would have more encounters with Feebas. Well, and that, and that, that limited. Yeah, but... well, that is the case, because I think they're just, they're basically going to make every Pokestop you spin for three hours spawn you a Feebas once you've completed whatever the task, task is, is at that Pokestop. So <clears throat> it's that's basically what it seems like. So kind of similar to uh, Squirtle Squad, Squirtle Day where it was more likely to give you a shiny by doing the research. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of just like getting spawning more and more speaking, spawning more and more feedback that way. Speaking of that too, uh, that's a good thing actually because we don't know details about this yet, but let's pay attention when it is starting to see if that same rule applied because during Squirtle Squad day, the task that gave you Squirtle Squad Squirtles, yeah. if one was shiny for one person, that same stop, regardless of who you were, if you spun and completed that task, it was shiny for everybody. Was it? I didn't notice that. I was out of town. I was in Vegas during that during that event, so I did. I wasn't like I was walking with one with uh, one other person, so I, I wasn't like in a group paying attention to that. Yeah, it was confirmed. I was actually at Tempe Marketplace when this happened. There was yeah. one stop that somebody got a shiny Squirtle off of. Uh, I was with a large group and like everybody... 20 more people spun the stop. Every single person got a shiny squirrel squad squirtle off that stop. Interesting. I didn't so know that. if that's the case, that'd be really important to see if we can communicate, spread the word. If that is like, the hey, case, shiny Phoebus, shiny at, Phoebus at, this, at, this, at stop. this stop, come and get it. Yeah. So definitely be aware that that's a possibility <clears throat> and fish fry. Get your fish fry. <laughs> shiny Phoebus over oh. here. Oh God. Love it. Shiny melodic will be pretty cool too. Shiny Melodic's pretty cool. Yeah. Feebas Shiny looks actually pretty cool when it starts. It's a little more purplish or pink, I think. I don't know what color it is. I'm colorblind. I, I, mean, I don't I do could, that. You can pull it up. 
And Melotic actually has a little more of a yellowish hue on the ends of it and blue for its... Shiny Phoebus. Shiny Phoebus is purple and uh, Melodic is kind of like a light blue, almost purple, like tendrils instead of... Let me pull up. I think it's red <clears throat> normally. Yeah, it's like pink, pink. almost. So yeah, shiny melodic. It's it's almost got like opposite color scheme. So instead of like pinkish, it's kind of blue, and then it's got a yellow tail instead of a blue tail. So that's cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Purple, uh, no purple mega Fibas evolution cool. or anything, but definitely cool to have. It was always a, a hard Pokemon to get. Oh, in the main here's, series yeah, here's games. the here's the ghost sprites right here. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool looking. I like it. So definitely try to get that, mm. and as I said, keep an eye out for stops that are giving everybody a shiny, because that's something that would be good for everybody to know. I mean, it should only take like you know one or two, like less than a handful of people to confirm if that's if that's the case, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, but, but yeah. Other than that, mm. nothing too crazy. Just be on the lookout during that three-hour window on the nineteenth uh, specific or Pacific time with us, eleven to two in the Americas. And then the well, other time, oh, it's eleven to two. Pacific well, actually, time. oh, that's after. No, no, no. Wait, it, that is. Uh, why does it say? Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, eleven to two. P. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. And it'll be <clears> interesting <throat> to see. I don't know if ours, theirs is before us. Europe, Africa, and India, and all that's before us, correct? Mm. So definitely keep an eye on the Silk Road Reddit and stuff because that's where I found out that news of all of the stops being shiny for one Squirtle being mm. for everybody. Uh, that would give you an indication to be on the lookout for that and keep track of your stops if that's the case. Yeah, pretty so. cool. Yeah, that's that's exciting. Uh, I'll have to check my work schedule, see if I'm off that day to try to get some shiny Phoebus because gotta I might be able to trade a shift or something if I'm working, but. <laughs> That'll be a cool day. Um, and then that, I mean, after that, we then, you know, that kind of takes us through the middle of the month. Then we'll get, uh, when does Heatran leave, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? So we'll have, because by that time, close to that time, we'll have a new, yeah, so January 15th. So actually, actually, this uh, mm -hmm. next week, we're going to have a new Legendary Mon, too, that has yet to be announced. So. That's another thing to uh, look forward to. Uh, don't have, I mean, they could do literally anything. It's, it, t they could introduce a new Pokemon. They could re, -re they could re-release like Groudon or Rayquaza with their shiny forms. They're going back with. Stuff it's, that they've it done seems before like right now, it seems so. like this January February month. They're kind of like, oh, remember Lugia and Ho Oh that you've seen ten thousand times? <laughs> They're back again. Oh, guess what I've gotten for both of my field researches so far this month? Lugia. No. Lu Lugia, both <laughs> times. And terrible Lugia at that. Not uh, even above, not even no 82%. Shinies, no shinies, no nothing. Yeah, no, shine, horrible, no shiny, yep. not even above 82%. Just total garbage Lugias. I was like, oh my god. I love it. Uh, of so course. yeah, we'll probably have some sort. Uh, my guess is that they will do Groudon or, or Rayquaza. I, I would almost hope because that would actually get me excited to to raid for a, sh a new shiny form. It'd either be that or it'd be moving on to the next set of the legendaries because as oh, I said, they Gen do, 4 has a lot. They could do those three. The, the three uh, uh, emotional trio. Yeah. Um, those are also in that promo pick for that December research yeah, thing. Yeah, so they might, they might be headed so, that direction. Who knows? Only time will tell. We have four more days a little or five more days until – that's done. Yeah. So yeah, we that's, should know that's, within the next that's day or what, two. What, what day is the 15th? That is next Wednesday, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, that's or Tuesday. Tuesday. That's Tuesday. So it leaves on Tuesday. So they'll probably bring in the new the new boss in the Tuesday afternoon and going into Wednesday. So They'll announce it most likely Sunday <clears throat> or Monday, actually. Then right before it actually tra transfers over. So. Yeah. A lot of stuff that's changing all throughout the month here, but we still have more that's going on at the end of the month. Yeah, and so the additional announcement, we've got uh, Safari Zone towards the end of the month going on in Brazil. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, not confirmed that there's going to be any new shiny, but it's been highly hinted towards that this is going to be uh, the introduction of shiny Psyduck. 
Um, and Forrest, you kind of have the info on that one. Uh, just a little bit of info here. The reason that rumor is going around is because of the location here in the uh, Porto Alegre in Brazil. That is very well known to be next to a lake. And I think the direct translation of that or the lake that's near it means the Lake of the Ducks. And because in this promo image here, they are showing Psyduck as well. And then obviously you have your regional of Relicanth being there and all the starters and showing up there. But specifically, if we're looking for the one Pokemon that always stands out in these images, mm -hmm. last time it was Pinsir, it's always, things like it's that. It's always something Gen 1. And I think uh, right here, too, additionally, Psyduck appearances will be increased globally over the weekend. Yeah. So, so that's, another key. That's to... very obvious because every time they've done that, it that has been the Pokemon that appears as shiny once it starts showing up. So uh, it probably because the event actually starts on uh, Friday the 25th and then runs through Sunday the 27th. So worldwide, we worldwide, we probably won't see Psyduck until Saturday. Saturday yep. So they usually do Saturday, Sunday. So it'll be Saturday the 26th and Sunday the 27th is where we'll actually see our increased spawns of Psyduck. And then uh, I want to look up, because yeah, I think Shiny Psyduck is like blue, isn't shiny it? Shiny Psyduck is blue and very, actually kind of cool. <clears throat> um, shiny Golduck, not very exciting. It's actually just a varying shade of uh what it normally is i mean it's just a little shiny darker. Bee. so it's uh yeah so sh blue yeah shiny shiny psyduck blue and gold duck is just that that's really gold duck right there yeah shiny gold duck is literally <laughs> it basically like looks a exactly the small same small tint of the same type in yeah shiny gold duck just to confirm there yeah. oh wow yeah yeah so these are the pokemon ghost sprites right here so it's it's like barely any different. That's so weird. I think the bill is a different color. <clears throat> yeah, it's it. like it's like slightly kind of pinkish almost. Yeah. I'll pull up a Golduck right now to look at it. Yeah, yeah so, so normal so normally Golduck Golduck has a more a more almost like pale yellow bill and then the blue is like a slightly very very slightly different blue. It's like a, almost a slightly darker blue. Interesting. But yeah, shiny Psyduck is cool looking. Yeah. I like I like that. That's a big color change. That's cool. So that'll be exciting to have, you know, obviously a new a new shiny form that we can hunt and brag to our friends about. So look for that on the uh, weekend of the 26th and 27th. So the last that'll be the last weekend in January when that Safari Zone takes place. So pretty cool. And good on you Brazil. You guys are getting Relicanth, which is one of the one of the rarest Pokemon in the game still just because it spawns in such a limited region. So that's pretty cool. Plus, you guys will get your unknowns. Probably the the letters of the uh, city that it's in, Porto Alegre. So that'll be pretty cool. Maybe even you might even get Brazil in there, which would be even better. Save those Zs. If you get, if you yeah, get Zs, Z, are really rare. If you're catching Zs and exclamation points or something like that, save those. Those are... Z is one of the rarest ones in the, out there, only like behind like X, Y, and then the uh, exclamation and question mark. So pretty exciting, you guys. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty psyched for that. And then uh, I don't know. I mean, other than that, we did it, just get a <laughs> new update. Uh, the new APK is actually out. Um, well, it's, it's fully downloadable at this it's point. It's fully downloadable. Yeah. <clears throat> um, not too, too much has changed on it. Uh, there were some changes to rewards within pvp uh, so now you are actually able and people are earning rare candies based on battling with pvp you want to battle one time real quick um maybe in just a second okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay so i'm totally fine with that um and then the other big change that i've noticed actually just at my apartment in general uh there were always a couple of gyms that would have raids on them that were just out of sight for me yeah and now with this new update, it appears that there are more stops and more gyms in general, and then more that you are able to see at one time. Yeah, I can see two additional Poké stops from my house. So, so they expanded the range a little bit. And I can work. actually, I could never see that one over there by the. Uh, that's a church. Okay. That's a church over there. So I can actually see three additional Poké stops that I wasn't able to see from my house. Maybe even four. I don't even know if I could see that one across the street over there. That other potential one. Yeah. That could be new. But the gyms I was always able to see. But, yeah, there's definitely at least 
three additional Pokestops that I can see just from just from here. Okay. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, Thanks. so that's that's a little bit of exciting news. It helps making uh, – I know when I've been reporting any raids that are going on in groups and stuff, it's a little easier when you can see more. Yeah, the further um, out you can see. So definitely exciting. Especially, also, in, especially in an area like Old Town where it's like so densely populated. Well, that and also <clears throat> possibly to the benefit for Pokestops and rare spawns because now if it's showing more spawns within your – region oh, or yeah, within yeah. there you may come across a pokemon that wouldn't have shown up normally or would appear differently so uh definitely something to keep an eye on there but uh other than that the basic changes are just uh, bug fixes um i think there's been probably more graphical interface changes i'm sure minor text files are in there somewhere yeah. to change that's always an update that happens hey okay, at they added i like that they added those uh new they added those sprites for uh stantler and pikachu and raichu with the winter caps and then stantler has the oh what yeah we were just talking about this we were talking about the fact that they found sprites for stantler that had sleigh bells on its <laughs> neck yeah and then pikachu that had like a like a snowboarder's cap or like a knitted cap and raichu and all that stuff in the game and that was added or was actually discovered after the winter event that we just had. We just had the snow event. Makes a whole event. lot of sense. When Stantler and everything <clears throat> was spawning more crazily, you could have definitely done it at that point, And it would have made a lot more sense. Um, but instead, they're deciding to not do that. Oh, so, well. Uh, their I mean, loss, that maybe that's <clears throat> for next year, and they're just giving us a preview way super early. Yeah, they just wanted to add it, and they're like, look, look at the thing we did. The one other exciting news that I have just actually kind of heard about and been a little curious, um, there were several Pokemon that were released in the wild as shiny. Uh, Geodude, Magnemite, oh, yeah. um, I <clears throat> believe there was Krabby. Uh, a couple of Pokemon like that, the, like the little ones that were kind of dropped throughout yeah, the one, randomly. Yeah, the, the onesie twosies. Uh, until this recent update, when Magnemite was released back in November, all the reports for Shiny Magnemite were in November. There hadn't been a single report of a Shiny Magnemite since then. That's interesting. Even with nests or anything going on, there hasn't been a single report. And now, after this update, they did have more reports coming in. So it makes me think that there was some error that happened they, along the way. They bugged it somewhere and turned them off They forgot. Yeah, they forgot to make sure that they were still turned on to have shiny versions available or something to that extent. Seems like that bug has been fixed with the new update. So be back on the lookout for Geodudes, Magnemites, uh, Samshrews if you can find them because now that shiny is available in the wild, Krabbies. Things to that extent. Yeah, I haven't even seen a Sandshrew in, like, not other, live, yeah. other, than, other than a lowland Sandshrew. And I we live in the desert, Sandshrew. so yeah. it's weird for us to not see Sandshrew because they're normally everywhere. Yeah. But we will see uh, what's going on with that. But And then the most exciting news of all, we got a new PvP clothes, baby! Oh, yeah! yeah. And not oh, only did we yeah. get these clothes, but you got to freaking pay for them. What a crock! All right, that's that's the only <laughs> thing I'm talking about that. Yo, uh, let's do a let's do a battle, man. I already challenged you, oh, bro. Oh, bring it on! I'm on it. Bring it on, bro. Give me one second while I get my team. I only all got I only got 500 guy. dust from uh, from only Blanche. 500. Blanche oh, rip Blanche Blanche ripped me off. What a, what a rip off! That is horrible. Um, let's <clears> do <throat> this do deadly it. combination we're here. We're doing some great league. We're doing some great league. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I'll challenge you with this. We'll see. See how this goes. I don't know how this team will do. We'll find we out. We shall see. <clears throat> we'll in find a out. Moment. Greatly, I'm I'm uh, heavily invested in Ultra League. Is my most invested. Oh, this would have been this would have been a better matchup. It would have been, could have been, should have been. What it could have should have. Ba da ba ba da. <clears throat> hmm. What you got for me, huh? What you think you're gonna hit me with? Some BS is what you got. <laughs> Horn attack. Get that out of here. 
<clears throat> oh, yeah, you would. <laughs> Just because. Why not? I'll tell you why not. Oh, sucker! Oh, damn. <laughs> damn, so close. Poly so close. Feel my poly so wrath, close. bro. Feel my poly wrath. Hmm. So we're we're getting this. You guys are seeing this live hmm. on stream. Uh, let's see. I don't know what you got. Let's see what it is. Oh, that hurt. <clears throat> Just a little bit. <laughs> we're quiet. Sorry, we're concentrating. <laughs> I'm, this is this is I'm pulse, like ASMR I'm pulsing the dragon. ASMR uh, podcast. Do I want to do this? I'm gonna use. I'll get a little bit more damage on you. I think. <clears throat> oh, down to the last mon. Let's see what it is. Oh shit! I definitely gotta get this slash. Probably should have just saved. I should have saved both my shields for. Well, the matchup. For Sandy. The matchup for my uh, last pair isn't gonna be very good. So you may actually have me. We'll we'll see. We'll this. see what happens. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Sand Slash is a beast. So definitely, oh, definitely oh, not in my favor. Oh, baby. You're I know. You're I know, done so. I know. You're done so. I'm done. You're done, done so. Oh, just like that. You're oh, done so. Oh, oh, oh done crap. So. Uh, just Bulldoze. like that. Bulldoze. I will, dude, I love Sand, sand Slash with, oh, yeah. with Mudshot. Bulldoze is a beast. Good right, game. Let's, Good let's, game. Let's Good see game. what we get for rewards. 500 dust. 500 dust. I did get a rare candy, though, bitch. from training. Uh, Got a bitch. Before, so Did you? definitely look for those new rewards for PvP. But this has been informative. I'm yeah. glad we're back on the grind here. We Heck were getting yeah, over working and sick in the new year, but we hope to be back with you guys as often as possible. More, Every more Pokemon Go, less downtime, more straight up content coming at your eye and earballs. <laughs> oh God. Back at this again. All right. Same stuff, different day. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening and or watching. Until next time, I'm Loco Hondro. He's Forrest. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more Pokemon Go content. And we'll catch you guys later. Peace, Pokey Trainers. Trainers.